Why doesn't my VPN work anymore? It's a question a lot of us are beginning to ask ourselves. <clears throat> and I'm referring not actually to the security aspects of using a VPN, but more the functionality that literally millions of us use to um, bypass the restrictions many websites have on your location. So, for instance, um, People in the UK, when they travel outside the UK borders, um, are denied access to most of their favourite TV programmes, BBC iPlayer, Channel 4, ITV Hub, things like that. Um, the same American people, when they leave the shores of America, they, they can't access the American version of Hulu, Netflix and all these other things. But to get around this, for years we've all been using VPNs. But... In 2020, 2021, they don't work so well. Of course, the problem is quite simple, really, um, or why VPNs used to work. Um, this is what used to happen when you access BBC iPlayer from outside the UK. You get messages like that. Um, same here, ITV Hub, if it detects a non-UK IP address, <coughs> they'll detect that. But frequently, we're getting similar problems while we're using our VPN. Now, of course, we use the VPN to um, fool these programs that we're actually somewhere we're not. So we use the VPN to connect to a UK server. Suddenly, the BBC iPlayer and all its thousands of shows are available again. The same with the ITV Hub and the Americans and Germans and French and Spanish do it. The same with their TV, which are all geo-locked in the same way. But... As far as the UK um, servers, I'm not sure, and a lot of the US stuff, increasingly these are blocked. So why does your VPN not work anymore? Now, it's quite simple in a way. It's not the fact that it can detect it's a VPN. It's basically because of your IP address. <clears throat> now, the VPN does hide your real IP address, and it presents one the one of the VPN server itself. The big, big, big problem is that IP address is shared with thousands and thousands of other users. And if those other users happen to be trying to access the BBC, they'll get blocked. Um, my favourite VPN currently has been um, NordVPN, which works fine <clears throat> some of the times, but I'll often have to spend 10, 15 minutes trying to find an IP address that works, simply because it's very popular partly because it's good value, and lots of other people are doing exactly the same thing. BBC iPlayer sits, sees, I don't know, 5,000 people on the same IP address and thinks, this isn't genuine, it's a proxy, it's a VPN, and it will block it either temporarily or for quite a long time. And um, it won't work, so you have to find another one. Um, this catch-up, this situation is getting worse because they can easily reduce the number of connections allowed to a very small number indeed and there becomes a point where lots of VPNs simply don't work anymore and that's the position we're in now. Okay so what can we do about it? Well I have been trying out lots of VPNs over the last uh, few weeks and I'm finding this similar problem. Some work some of the time so many, many don't work at all, uh, but I have found a solution, I think, that works for everybody. Okay, which I will show you now. Let me just show, close down this. So let's restart our browser, okay? And now what I'm going to do is show you a new VPN. Now, I know I said VPNs don't work anymore, but the technology is sound. The problem is not the VPN itself, it's the IP address that you use or share with all the other users. That's the only problem. Here I'm using a service um, from a company called IPM, IP Burger, um, where you get a very specific VPN which is connected to a single IP address. Now you can you can rent loads more IP addresses from all over the world if you want. But the basic setting, which I've been testing, which is about the same price as a normal VPN, is to get one UK IP address. Now, that might sound a bit rubbish, swapping your VPN with IP addresses all over the world in 50, 60 countries some of them have got. 
for a single one. But the beauty of this is that IP address, that UK IP address, is reserved for you. You have exclusive access to it and nobody else will use it. <clears throat> Which means it's practically undetectable and works every time. Let me just show you quickly. Now, you can access it from a VPN client. You can put it on your phone or... Um, a tablet or something. I'm using a Chrome extension because it's easy to demonstrate, but you can use any of the same methods. And here it is, you just install the extension in Chrome and you turn it on and it will connect to the service that I have um, got, which is just a single IP address based in the UK. Because primarily I use my VPN to watch the BBC and ITV. I don't use it for much else. And I just need a British IP address when I'm out of the country. Okay, so I'm connected. Let me go back quickly to BBC iPlayer and show you how incredibly quick this is. And it just works. So it's going into my account there. I'm clicking. Hopefully you can see how quick this is. <clears throat> this is the point where I would normally get a message saying I'm not in the UK here. He's and you can see I'm getting a trailer. And then it's working fine. I'll just stop it there because you get copyright uh, flags in YouTube if you show this stuff. Uh, right, let me just try ITV Hub. Um, it works the same. I've checked all the British ones so far. Let me just go to ITV Hub here. Remember, I'm going through this new VPN service and I am using my single UK IP address, which costs about uh three to four euros a month um depending on the deal that you get let's just look watch live which is always the toughest one and there we go we'd normally have a little message popping up now saying that um that we've detected that you're um Excellent not in the uk work. or if you're using a vpn that's blocked you you often get a you appear to be using a proxy or vpn and that's it that's working and it works absolutely flawlessly it's really fast so the advantages it works for geo blocking or uh, bypassing geo blocks it works perfectly it's hassle free and it's super fast it's definitely worth considering the drawbacks are you don't get all the addresses in other countries and um you know you can't pick and choose you have one single address that you pay for if you want to access american content you're gonna to have to get an american ip address which will cost another three or four pounds as well so um it works very specifically for the job of geo targeting so if you are having problem with your vpn um to watch something like uk television go and check out the link that's below uh, and give it a try it's it just works you know right thanks for watching and um Speak to you all soon. Bye-bye.